mudslide and flood have created have walked across Nepal where so far nearly 200 people have been killed and 30 people are still missing. Moreover, the rescue operations are still up. Disastrous floods, landslides create havoc across Nepal. Nearly 200 killed, 100 missing in Nepal floods. 31 people still missing with 4,500 people rescued so far. The rescue and search efforts continue in several parts of Nepal. NDRRMA issued warning for 56 out of 77 districts in Nepal, where alert have been issued for possible disaster advising people to adopt caution. And in a big news coming in from Nepal, the death toll from rain-induced floods and landslides across Nepal reached nearly 200 today with at least 30 people still missing. The incessant rainfall from last Friday triggered floods and landslides wrecking havoc in the Himalaya nation. At least 192 people have been killed in the continuous rainfall, floods, landslides and inundation, the officials from the Nepal police informed. As per the spokesperson of the Home Ministry, Rishi Ram Tiwari, 31 people still remain missing with 4,500 people rescued from various locations across the nation. Meanwhile, a meeting of the Disaster Risk Management Authority held on Monday morning has decided to further expedite the rescue efforts for those stranded in the highway and displaced by the floods and landslide. While the meeting has also decided to provide first trash of grant for reconstruction of houses damaged by the flood and landslide since Saturday. While it has been aimed to be completed within a week after issuance of provisions and identification of actual victims in the next three days, the meeting has further decided. Meanwhile, influenced by water vapor from the Bay of Bengal and a low pressure system in the region, Nepal since Thursday evening, which eventually sparked a humanitarian crisis all across the nation. Moreover, the National Disaster Risk Reduction Management Authority has also issued warning for 56 out of the 77 districts about possible disaster, advising the people to adopt caution. While home to world's 9 of the 10 highest peaks in the world, Nepal, this year already had estimated more rain than the average and 1.8 million people will be affected by the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Authority issued estimated 412,000 households to be affected by the monsoon-related disasters. While the monsoon season in Himalayan nation generally begins on June 13, the exit, which was usually on September 23, has been extended to late October. This year, clouds from the south entered Nepal from the western region on June 10, while three days ahead of the usual onset. Last year, the weather phenomenon started on June 14, a day after the normal onset day. Moreover, the monsoon period, which delivers around 80% of the country's total annual rainfall, generally lasts 105 days. But in the recent years, it has been taking more time to withdraw. While Nepal has already recorded above age average rainfall this season. According to Nepal Met Office data, the country received 1,586.3 mm of rainfall as of Friday morning since the monsoon entered on June 10, while 10,107.2% above the average monsoon rainfall. Normally, the country receives an average of 1,472 millimeters of rainfall in the four months june july august and september while last year the country witnessed only 1303 millimeter of rainfall in the season with 88.5 percent of the average and in a big news coming in the death toll from the rain induced floods and landslides across nepal have reached nearly 200 today with at least 30 people still missing. The incessant rainfall from last Friday triggered floods and landslides wrecking havoc in the Himalayan nation. Moreover, at least 192 people have been killed in the continuous rainfall, floods, 
landslides and inundation, the officials from the Nepal police said. The disastrous floods, landslides create revoc across Nepal where nearly 200 people have been killed while hundreds in Nepal are still missing in the floods. 31 people still missing with 4,500 people rescued so far. The rescue and search operations are continuing in several parts of the country with NDRRMA issuing warning for 56 out of the 77 districts where the alerts have been issued for possible disaster advising people to adopt the caution. The National Disaster Risk Reduction Management Authority issued warning for 56 out of the 77 districts about possible disaster advising people to adopt caution. The home to world's nine of the ten highest peaks in the world, Nepal, this year already had estimated more rain than average and 1.8 million people will be affected by. While the authority has also estimated 412,000 households will be affected by the monsoon-related disasters. To be very precise, the monsoon season in Himalayan nation generally begins on June 13. The exit, which was usually on September 23, has been extended to late October. This year, the clouds from the south enter the Nepal from the western region on June 10, while three days ahead of the usual onset date. Last year, the weather phenomenon started on June 14, a day after the normal onset day. And with this, disasters, floods, landslides have created havoc across the country with nearly 200 people being killed and hundreds of them still missing.